Hi, this is Antti from React Studio. This is a quick tutorial how you can filter your Firebase data in, in, the, in the web app uh, based on the data slot values. So, quick, quick, um, let's go quickly through the database. I have a chat, chat app database which contains collection called chat rooms. Each chat room document co contains collection called messages. So it's a really simple, simple backend. And what we want to do is create a UI where there is a picker containing all the chat room names. And when you select the, uh, select the chat room from the picker, it will automatically show the messages from the selected, selected chat room. So I build it so that uh, we have a data, data sheet called uh, chat rooms here. This contains all the chat rooms, chat room name and the document. Uh, ID document key in the in the in the studio. So this is the ID that we want to sh want to save the data slot when user selects the chat room from the from the picker. And then we have chat messages. This is a data sheet, and it uh, the collection ID the path to collection is built so that it's chat rooms. And then we have data slot, which is the selected chat room key. This is the ID of the selected chat room and then slash messages and it will load the collection for uh, the messages collection from the selected selected uh, chat room you could also make a query and use use data data slots in a query but in this case we're going to just use data slot in the collection pad here so how to build it i have a this simple ui with picker and picker is set to fetch the data from datasheet and its chat rooms and the label is chat room name and the value this is the thing that actually will uh, keep the id of the selected chat room it's set to so set to document key so this value picker value will contain the document key for the selected chat room and then we have list which is just a uh, list is uh, taking Takes, takes the data from, from chat messages and the chat messages as I show, showed you chat messages is filtered based on the data slot value here and finally I've said so that the picker interaction is when users changes selection it will store the value to data slot and this is the data slot that I'm using in a, in a path path which refers to messages so it's this simple and this is how it works when I run it to run it to browser this is the UI and here's the picker I can change the chat room here if I select this one then it will it, it, it has two messages and let's see that has one and there's two messages and there's just one message. So this is that simple way of, of uh, filtering data in, in Firebase by, by using data slot, slots and saving, saving IDs to data slots. Hope you got the idea. I will, uh, I will put the link to, to the example, example project in the description of this, this YouTube video.